right, all right, all right. Hey, remember how we were talking about a good plane has got to be animalistically appealing? Well, take a look at this Russian supersonic military transport jet, the pak Now Show this to the guys over at DARPA. This is brought to you by the guys who did the pak So pak stands for Perspective Airborne, uh, who cares? All right, so what do we have here? Let's look at the specs. This thing supposedly goes, or wants to go, 2,000 kilometers mile an hour. What? Kilometers mile an hour? Try a little. All right, so this thing they want to go 2,000 kilometers an hour, which is just over 1,200 miles an hour, with a payload up to 200 tons, it's even for a, a transport jet that's big, uh, range 7,000 kilometers, which is uh, 4,300 miles uh, just over. Do the math, that is from Mother Russia to your house in Kansas in under 10 hours, uh, more like seven hours. But you know, don't worry, by the time they get there, they're gonna be like totally jet lagged. Let's take a look at here at a couple of features. Uh, the power plants, we got three motors. Uh, the one on top is a gas turbine engine, and then the two on the sides are EDFs. Oh, look at that, EDFs in future concept planes again. Hmm, that's weird. I like how even the Russians are getting in on Go Green. They're gonna ship 200 tons worth of armored tanks, but hey, they're gonna keep the air clean. Oh, thanks, I guess. Second thing to take a look at here is the wing configuration. Really nice, huh? Uh, the wings look like that of the A380. Super long and swept back. Now, it looks too big for modern runways, but that's not our problem. Those wings are gonna be high lift, high efficiency, and high stability. You're not gonna need fly-by-wire to fly this plane. I mean, I probably still have it, but it's inherently a very stable plane. You got a lifting body type situation going on here. It looks similar to uh, a B2, or, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. A B-21. I mean, could this be used as a bomber? It's got little, like, zigzags along the, uh, the elevons are thrust vectoring. So that's interesting. It could be for high angles of attack. When you're coming down with 200 tons in the trunk, you gotta be thinking about how are you gonna stop this thing? So with the Delta configuration and it being very stable, they could be flaring this thing way out. I don't know. This would be one of my favorite RC planes ever if somebody did one of these. Uh, you're taking the stability of the F-117 V3 with its delta shape, it just won't tip stall. And then you're combining that with like a Wild Hawk or a Bixler where you have that long, efficient wing. It just, it looks good. It's animalistically alpha. It's a numbers plane. I mean, DARPA, I know you're not watching because your mommy doesn't let you watch scary videos on the internet. But man, that is how you do it. Pack tada. I love how you find out where this information is coming from. And the article says, the specs were sourced to an apparent anonymous leaker who claims to have attended a closed door meeting with the Russian military. Oh, closed door. Guy comes running out. Take these specs to the press. It's a secret super transport jet. The world must know about it. Wait, why is this so important? Why should we do Because, man, in the meeting, the door was closed. It was closed, man. The door was closed.